Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve code forces problem zoning restrictions again. Before we start looking the details of the problem examples and the Java solution for this problem, I want to mention that my channel is dedicated to help people who are preparing for Java J2 interviews and coding interviews. You will find lot of helpful videos on my channel uh, in your like that will help you in your Java J2E interview preparation as well as there are over 200 solved different varieties of coding problems which were previously asked interview questions by big tech companies like Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Yahoo and many others. So uh, you can practice those uh, questions and it will definitely help you in your coding interview preparation. Uh, so if you are preparing for any Java J2 interviews or simply learning Java uh, concepts or coding interviews then uh, please subscribe to the channel. So let's uh, start looking into the problem uh, description for the zoning restrictions again problem. So you are planning to build housing on a street. There are n spots available on the street on which you can build a house. The spots are labeled from 1 to n from left to right. In each spot, you can build a house with an integer height between 0 and h. In each spot, if a house has height a, you will gain a square dollars from it. The city has m zoning restrictions. The ith restriction says that the tallest house from uh, left to right inclusive must be at most xi height. Right? So they will give us left and right boundaries inclusive and the houses we can build in that boundaries uh, can have maximum xi height right uh, because as you can uh, correlate with any real uh, life examples right there are zoning restrictions where you can uh, build a build like you can build building on a certain uh, areas with maximum height right so similarly uh, this also has a zoning restrictions so you would like to build houses to maximize your profit determine the maximum profit possible so profit as you can see uh, it is a square of the height right so if height is a of the house then a square dollars we can get so which means that we have to maximize the height of each of our house right then that will assure that we, our uh, money that we are going to make from these houses will be maximum right so uh, let's look at the input uh, uh, what they are going to give us the first line contains three integers n h and m so n is number of spots that we have to build houses right the uh, next is h h is maximum height of any house and the number of restrictions are m right so as you can see here there are three spots we can build houses then uh, there are any house can have maximum three height and there are three zoning restrictions and these are the following zoning three restrictions that they have given us right so what the uh, zoning restriction means is they will give us left and right boundaries right for example here the left boundary is one right boundary is one so basically from one to one means only one spot basically right and maximum height we can build is one similarly in the next zoning restriction uh, the left is two right is also two and maximum height we can build is three and in the third zoning restriction uh, left is three and right is three as the range and maximum height we can build is 2 right and we have to calculate what is the maximum profit we can get from this uh, configuration right so let's take this example on the whiteboard here so i just wrote this example so um, basically they have given us three spots right as you can see here so three spots are given to us one two and three correct so these are the three spots where we can build house uh, and after that they have given us the zoning restriction maximum height is three for each house we cannot build any house more than that height and three total zoning restrictions they have given us so this one i wrote like so this is left and this is right the column and this is the maximum height we can build in that range right so um, so let's just go uh, by like one by one in the uh, zoning restriction right so if you can look at the first zoning restriction we can build uh, height 1 uh, in the range 1 to 1 which means 1 right so we can build this height 1 here at this location right 1 and then <coughs> so let's just draw a square so this is let's say this is for example height 1 we can build here right house then for the second one the restriction is from uh, second to second which means that only second spot right and maximum height is 3 
so we can build a house two uh, with maximum height three let's say this is the three height right and then the third zoning restriction is from three to three right and maximum height is two that we can build here so let's just say that this is the two height right so um, what we like how much profit we can get or how much money we can make from this configuration we have to calculate so as you, you can see the money we can make from each house is square of the height so it means that one square plus two square plus three square basically which is equal to 14 right 9 plus 4 is 13 plus 1 is 14 so 14 uh, is the maximum money we can make uh, from this configuration and from this restrictions so that's what you will find it as an answer here right <clears throat> so similarly if you uh, i took one more example here so here uh, the total spots are five as you can see one two three four five are given uh, then maximum height again is three and total zoning restrictions are uh, three here actually not four this is three zoning restrictions which are given to us right um so um, maximum height can be four basically sorry maximum height can be four and total zoning restrictions are three so this is basically four and this should be three basically that is uh, mistakenly right uh, like that so as you can see five spots are there so we will just go through each zoning restriction so this is from one to one we can build one height so as you can see this is the one height right uh, from 2 to 2 we can build a 3 height so 2 to 2 means this one so this height is 3 let's say right and from 3 to 3 we can build 2 height so from 3 to 3 we can build 2 height right and for others we can take the maximum height right because we want to maximize our profit so we will build 4, four uh, height houses here right so this will have 4 height for both of these four and five because there are no restrictions here zoning restriction the only re restriction we have is our height cannot be more than four right so this is how we can uh, build the houses in this one so how much we uh, how much total profit we can get so one square is one plus uh, this is three three square is nine right plus two square is four plus four square is sixteen right and plus 4 square again is 16 so 16 plus 16 is 32 32 plus 4 is 36 36 plus 9 right so 45 plus 1 is equal to 46 right so 46 is the profit we can get from this configuration so we have to output this right so this is what the problem is for the zone zoning restriction and we are asked to maximize our profit so how we are going to solve this problem so what we will do is <coughs> Uh, we will create one array right of uh, what heights we are going to give to these houses and initialize with the maximum height so we will initialize with height 4 for all the elements right so all the elements we will initialize with height 4 and after that we will go through each of the restrictions right and then we will give them appropriate height so for example we will go from 1 to 1 and we will give it one height right means we will update the array to 1 from it was 4 before so now we will update it to 1 in case of uh, second restriction we will update update the array from uh, 4 to 3 right and in case of third restriction we will update the array from 4 to 2 right so that's what we are doing here here right and then <coughs> we will calculate the total profit like this right we will take the square after we are done with all the zoning restrictions of our array elements and we will calculate the total profit we can earn basically right so the coding is not that difficult once you understand this so let's just go through this uh, example so we are going to we are taking this first example that they have given us so uh, as you can see uh, as you can see here 333 is n h and m given and input array is given to us right so this is the input array you can see these are all the zoning restrictions 111 223 and 332 so we have taken the same thing here so we will create one array of n elements right because we have given n spots so we have to build houses on that n spots so first we will initialize with the given height right so given height is maximum height we can have three so we are just using arrays dot fill method it will fill the array with that given height right three and after that we will start iterating through all these zoning restrictions that are given to us uh, so zoning restrictions we will just do m minus minus right until m is 
not equal to zero means we will take all these three basically right Z zoning restrictions so uh, first we will read the input m like for example we are going from backward right so first we will uh, we will read this one basically right m is 3 so we will read 3 3 2 and then we will create uh, we will read left right and the x values right from the given input and then we will just do l minus minus and r minus minus right um, so l minus minus and r mi minus minus why we are doing it because this one is given in uh, like as you can see these heights are given in this is one based index right we want a zero based index that's why we are subtracting one from left and right right so this is basically zero based index right so that's what we are doing here so once we get zero based index values we will just loop we will create one for loop and we will loop from left to right right and we will assign the maximum value that is given by the restriction right for example here we will assign the value 2 in the range 3 to 3 basically right we will assign value 3 in the range 2 to 2 like that we are doing so after we are done with this zoning restriction we will go to next one next one like that so we will go through all these zoning restrictions and appropriately we will give the height to our array basically right the maximum height that zoning restriction allows so after that so uh, our array is populated after uh, with the correct heights so after that we'll just create one variable sum and we will loop through all the array elements and we will just calculate sum right and sum we will use array of i into array of i because it, this is square of the height right so we have to do array of i into array of i because we are calculating square right and we are adding into sum and we will just print the sum at the end right so let's just execute this code and make sure it works so we are getting correct answer 14 as you can see here 14 so let us take uh, one more example that we have discussed here right so it is 5 4 3 so let me just uh, take the you know uh, i'll just copy the input and we'll just modify our input to our next example so this is our next example right so um, i'll just copy this input so as you can see this is the same input that we used in this example so now let's make sure that we are getting 46 here as the answer for this one so let's just execute our code so now we are getting 46 which is the correct answer so uh, our code is working fine uh, here uh, there is another example I took here so let's execute this example also here there are five spots and maximum height is four and m is equal to one m uh, m is only one restriction is there and one restriction is between two to four right so as you can see this one we have just given one right because this is the uh, restriction that we can have only one height maximum between range two to four inclusive right and other heights will be 4 right so uh, then we will calculate the total like this 4 square plus 1 square 1 square 1 square plus 4 square so total should be 35 so let's just modify our input and make sure that this uh, example also works with our code so I'll just copy the um, input here so we are just modifying it to this example now right so we should get 35 as our output here so we are getting correct output here right so uh, 35 is coming so this is the way we can solve the code forces problem zoning restrictions again problem so um, uh, it's just like one good problem for like initial uh, coding rounds so i just thought that i'll just make a video of this problem that will be helpful uh, so if you are new to my channel on my channel there is a playlist called as code forces which has a lot of solved code forces examples explained with java code in details uh, so you can go through that playlist also there is a big playlist called as lead code and lean code solutions on my channel it has over 200 solved coding problems uh, which were previously asked by big tech companies like apple amazon facebook google yahoo microsoft and many other companies uh, and those are selective problems in the sense that uh, they constitute important coding questions for IT such as graph problems, binary search tree, BFS, DFS matrix problems, coding questions uh, related to linked list as well as strings. So uh, if you practice those questions, then you will definitely get helped uh, in your coding interviews. Um, 
if you like this video if you find it helpful and if you like the way it's created with whiteboarding sessions and java code then please give it a like also subscribe to the channel because your subscription is very important for the channel because that is the way the videos can reach to more people who need help in solving coding problems they can also watch these videos and learn from this how to solve different varieties of coding problems and what data structures and apis of java to use uh, and apply to solve different coding problems uh, so if you like the video give it a like if you have any questions then please write your questions below the description um, and share this video with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching this video